Competing for the quickest intro ever. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday. Paul just pointed this out. I think there's a ghost in the shop. Nobody has touched it, and it just keeps moving. I haven't even filmed anything yet. He walks around the corner. He's like, what are you doing? Again. Yeah, the, the ratchet and the ghost or whatever. I just, I left the camera and I forgot. What? Oh God, I'm not good. Okay. So he's talking about, Charles Trippy says that if he gets 2 million subscribers by the end of the year, that he will put a unicorn on his butt. He will have a unicorn tattooed on his butt. And I thought, wow, I don't want to copy that because I'm certainly not going to put a unicorn on my butt or anywhere on my body. But I thought, wow, if I get... 100,000 subscribers, because that's not going to happen. But if I get 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I will add Hellmouth to my name legally. I know. Hellmouth. Troy, Hellmouth, Wayne, France. What? That'd be so cool. Anyway, I, I picked this up to say anything. Oh, yeah. On my lunch break today, I was supposed to go to the freaking post office and mail out merch, and I told him I spaced it. And because Monday is Martin Luther King Day, so the next time that I'm gonna have a chance is Tuesday. So, Triv27, thank you very much for your order, and I will get that out to you Tuesday. Um, that gives everybody else a chance to, if they wanna order something between now and then. Yay, it's Saturday, and it's raining. Which means it's my Friday, and it's raining. And the camera's now getting wet, and I'm now getting wet. Getting wet. Getting wet. Getting wet. <sighs> getting wet. wet in my car now. All right, you have yourself an excellent weekend. It's wet. What? It's after five and it's late! <laughs> There's still a little bit of time, maybe to do something outside, but by the time I get home and shower and everything, it'll be dark. So, I don't know. I have no idea what this weekend is gonna hold. We shall find out. See you guys? My truck is, God, my truck is totally messing up and the clutch is slipping. Ah! So I was gonna say, what do you guys do on days that are like this? I mean, obviously my day is like three quarters of the way over. But um, I was just wondering, you know, what do you guys do when it's nasty and cloudy and overcast and rainy and wet and cold and miserable and just bleh? And let me guess, you guys stay inside and bake cookies or stay inside and carve pumpkins. Craft pumpkins, yeah? Huh, there's an idea. All right guys, headed to the store in the rain. Is it just me or can you see the line right there? That's a line of smoke <laughs> due to the light. That is so freaking cool. That's just awesome. All right, to the store in the rain. Are we counting? One. Six. Seven. <laughs> it's so funny why this didn't sell. Goats in trees. It's a 2015 calendar of goats in trees. <laughs> I've seen everything now. What are you doing? Look at me, Phoenix. Oh. Do it again. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. Do it again. Put them on. It's the Finnegan family. Oh, sad panda. He had them. What are you doing now? He had them on his face. He really did. Are you doing push ups? <laughs> Baby push ups. You must have been watching Mama. Huh? This part down here is usually not filmed. It's usually filmed up here. And we have this part over here, and this part over here. And it should have been so simple, it should have been so, I spit, <laughs> damn it. It should have been so simple, it should have been so easy to figure this out, and Adam Owens posted a comment a while ago saying, just slid it down the center, 
right there, and then bring that over there, and that over there. That way this will be in the center, and everything will be covered. And I'm like, duh. So we're going to cut. We're going to cut, cut. <laughs> you guys are going behind the scenes right now. Do you get it? Behind the scenes? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I, I thought you just got through saying... Apparently now we have a banshee in the house. Look guys. Don't these look dangerous? <laughs> so I'm changing the blade in this thing. Oh no. I know, oh no. Can you say cut, cut, cut? <laughs> Ow! <laughs> these things are sharp. Oh my gosh, they are so sharp. If I change this without cutting myself, I will be absolutely happy and shocked. Can you guys see? Okay, here we go, we're gonna try this. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, look at this. Uh oh, I'm hitting something in the back. Oh, almost, almost, almost clean, look, look. Ooh, that's pretty good, except for the top. Oh my gosh. Adam, sir, genius. Pure freaking genius. Love it. Oh, there's there's a good picture right there. But not too much detail. Uh oh. Um, just to give you guys so, a all right, guys. I'm um, sitting down, starting to edit <laughs> the <laughs> daytime <laughs> walkthrough video, <laughs> and you can see that he's excited <laughs> about that too. <laughs> but he was grabbing at this, and and he wants to see what's in it as much as I do. <laughs> Quite honestly, I don't know exactly what this is. We're gonna open it. We're gonna figure it out. Open it. Open it. Oh me. Open it. Without ripping anything. Oh, like important me. papers, which I've already started open doing. Open it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Oh, that is so funny. So there's a drawing, and there's a note. <laughs> so this right here is CTFXC for the win, which is really, really cool. I imagine it's homemade. Maybe I should read the note first. Oh, no. What did you do? Did you? Sound like you're talking Japanese. Dear Troy and to your wonderful family, that's them. I know that I haven't really introduced myself to you guys, but my name is... Uh oh, Cody, not in your mouth. I am an 18 year old girl who loves life and sweet people like you. Your family has really made my past years so much better. I hope this is not too much to ask, but if you could subscribe to my channel, it means more to me if I made $10,000. Ha ha ha. <laughs> oh, and the wood carvings for Troy to place on his desk where he does COC. And the drawings are for Lori Lee. It was so fun creating them both. Sincerely, CSRFTW. Awesome. Cool. So thank you. So this, this is for you. And this, this is for me. And I think what I'm going to do with this is I think that I'm going to take this and I'm going to take a picture of it. And I'm going to try and tag you in it if I can. But I want to send it to Charles too. Oh wait, that's awesome. this is, um... This is um Jesse Wellens, right? From Girlfriend uh Boyfriend versus Girlfriend. I wouldn't know. Yeah, that's Jesse Wellens. I'm so team Jesse. Oh jeez. No, I am. I'm team Jesse like I'm so team Jesse. Thank you very much. I, I I never expect anything from any of you guys, but when we do get cool stuff like this, it's it. I don't know. It, it makes doing this... See, I don't know. Thank you. That, no, I'll just say that. That is so cool. Okay, here. Go beat up Daddy. Well, number one, it's storming like crazy outside right now. Lots of rain, lots of wind. Number two, I don't know why I always have to count everything. I've been working on the uh, the walkthrough uh, video. I think that I've recorded some of that. Um, damn, now I can't remember what the hell I want to say.
It was important, really it was. We're back to doing cock the way that we used to do cock. <laughs> oh, I'm so dirty. Let's start out with Dark Rose Manor. Thank you for the humane and non-squishing transfer of the orb weaver, meaning spider. And yay for the Frankie butt making another appearance. I know, Phoenix is so freaking cute. And you know, that spider, my opinion on that spider is it didn't get in my personal space. And it was a huge spider, and being that big, it was probably pregnant, and I couldn't... No, yeah. It was best just to catch and release. Wow, Jason Christopher 77 uh, I'm glad you didn't kill the spider. Does anyone else feel robbed when there is no cock? I think that's your ticket, Troy. Don't F with cock, bro. <laughs> Alright. Matthew Rondell. I was going to ask if you get more stock for your merch. The haunt sauce... Not planning at this time to get any more right now. The Vampire's Blood Incense, I do plan to get more of. The shot glasses, once they're gone, they're gone. So we've got like maybe red shot glasses. We have 16 left, and then we've got plenty of the other ones. Willow, Phoenix running through the storage halls reminds me of The Shining, but an adorable kid's version. Adam Owens, if you wait until the 23rd or 24th, I'll buy some Han sauce, all three shot glasses, and a keychain. Woo, dude, you rock. Wait, that's... Devil Rock, that's I Love You, that's Peace, that, no, well, not that one. What, what the heck is, yeah, no, mm, mm, yeah, okay, you rock. Sorry, it took me a second. Okay, and this is the question that I wanted Adam to re-ask me, uh, because it's kind of an important one. He says, if no one had started watching your vlogs when you started, do you think that you would still be doing a haunt, or would you have given up? I would still be doing a haunt, yes, because I started uh, the haunt before I even knew about YouTube and the vlogging and the online haunt community. Would it be at the level that it's at today? No, I don't think so. Not without you guys. It wouldn't because you guys drive me to do more, to push myself, and it, it wouldn't be at the degree that it is today. Even though we're not pro yet, um, you know, it, it, it's still much better than it could have been if I didn't do this. The other thing I want to say is for anybody else that has channels out there that is trying to make a, a go of this YouTube thing, um, I will say stick with it. Keep in mind, this is year five right now. And when I first started vlogging and everything, I'd be excited to get like seven views a day. I mean, seriously. And back when I had like 15 subscribers or 20 subscribers, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I got another one. Like Janine from the Ghostbusters, like, we got one. It, it was exciting. It's an adventure. And it's, it's, it's all about the, the, the ride. Because where's, where's your starting point and where's your ending point? Those are very small pieces of time when you decide to start something to when you actually finish something. The important part is the in-between. It's what you do in-between. It's how you enjoy the in-between because that's what we do. That's what life is. We're born, we die, we enjoy the time in-between. I was getting way too deep on that. I apologize. So your other question was, I guess what I'm asking is, do the vlogs and the support from the vlog keep you motivated to keep haunting? Yes, they do that too. And a lot of you have said that, you know, I motivate you guys. And I hope that I do. I hope that I give you guys motivation to, to press on with your haunt. And even if you guys don't do a haunt and you just watch the vlogs on a daily basis, God, I love all of you. Seriously. I mean, you have no idea. You, you have no idea how much I appreciate you guys watching. If I was still getting like seven views to this day with all the time that I put in every night, then I probably wouldn't be doing this anymore just because... It's a lot of work. <laughs> so I really appreciate all of you guys. Tarkus said, what kind of spider was that? I don't know. I always say Ryder 619, but didn't you say it's like RID 3R619? Okay, now I'm confused. But anyway, yeah, I know exactly which episode you're talking about with Patrick saying spider spider while crushing SpongeBob with his house rock. Yeah, that was cool. The BDL Express, where did you get the ballpoint pens from? Are you talking about the laser pen or the straight ballpoint pen? Because I don't think they have the laser pens anymore. Marcus Hals, what made you want to vlog your day-to-day -day activities? I like seeing what goes on in your life. Always makes me laugh and smile. Well, that's good, because originally I started out doing something Halloween every single day. And, uh, you know, as time and life progresses, if I wanted to do something on YouTube every day, like I've been doing, then, you know, it's not going to be Halloween all the time. So that's why we try to find, like, spooky things and, like, 
doing this stuff, cutting, you know, bloody shower curtains. You know, it's it's the little things keeping the Halloween spirit alive all year, because there's always Halloween in everything we do every single day. And and wise people once said that it is our everyday activities that define us as haunters. So think about that for a second. And 13 UHF, you talk about trying to get your PO box set up. I'm going to be trying to do that same thing. So we're on the same page. All right, guys. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow.